connection with Senator Ron Alting today to discuss Bill 12. As News 18's Micah Upshaw reports, minority groups like the LGBTQ community will see the biggest effect from the bill. Senate Bill 12 also known as the hate and bias crime bill, is still in the works. Right now, there isn't a clear definition for hate and bias crimes in Indiana. This bill was created to change that. You don't want to be a state that doesn't show that you don't stand for inclusion. Senator Ron Alting is spearheading the bill. He told audience members exactly what he told other lawmakers, that this bill will have a great impact on the state. That you will never, ever see another bill before you the rest of your career, ever, that you will have such a great impact on the people of the state of Indiana. This bill will help victims of hate crimes due to race, religion, or sexual orientation. Ashley Smith, president of Lafayette Pride, says this conversation was timely. It's a very important issue that's happening right now, and we want to get our uh, seat at the table, and we want to help out in any way we can. Smith, like many others in attendance, will see the benefit of this bill. They say they're ready to see it move forward. I think it only means good things for every, every person in the state of Indiana to have this bill passed. Um, and, and have the bill passed with the full list, uh, including sexual orientation and gender identity. It's so needed. We have to be able to distinguish between a regular crime and a crime that's committed against someone because of a characteristic that they cannot change. This is something that all state senators and all state representatives need to be pressed on the issue. We have support in a patchwork of ways, but we need to solidify it. Reporting in Lafayette, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Alting says a decision for the bill will be made within the next 10 days. He's encouraging communities to support the bill by writing to their senators. When we come back after the break,